Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note on making uh, geo-referenced ASCAT image files uh, overlaid onto Google Earth. This is a very convenient way to have these updated automatically. So you can just uh, click the open Google Earth and click the, click the map and you see the latest uh, wind measurements. And uh, these are the truth, and so they're the way that you evaluate the forecast. So let's start, go to Google, uh, go Google search, enter, so we go to search, and then just type in ASCAT, A-S-C-A-T. This is just a way to get to the main. It always seems to always work. Then the top link is the scatterometer data. And I've got several examples in an article I'll put a link to. I've done Florida and Baja and things like that. But for now, I'm going to do the Pacific Northwest, which is here. And so this is the, uh, a, this is the ascending, ascending pass. If you go back here, there's an ascending pass, and the Earth's rotating that way. So this polar orbit going north, these tilt that way on the ascending. And then on the descending path, they're going down the other side or the other side, and then the Earth's rotating. So they tilt the other way. So we have two passes, uh, and it's 101 minutes to go all the way around, so they're about 50, uh, 50, 50 minutes or so apart. But we'll see, I'll see that we, the, the trick here, we're going to end up making both at the same time. So this is the data we want to reference. And now you can make these for any picture, but this is a picture I want to geo-reference and permanently stored in Google Earth so it updates all the time. And this is the file we need, that's a file name. We also need to estimate here, just to make our life simpler in Google Earth, let's estimate this, this box here. And this is going from 50, oh, there's no line here. It'd be nice if there were a line right here, to fit, like this dotted line. Often there is, but there isn't now. That's 50. But you see that's 48, 46, 48, 49, 50. Let's just say the top box is 51. And the bottom of the box is like uh, 40, like 39. And we're, we're going to fine tune that. But we're going to say 39 to 51. And then we're going here, one th uh, minus, uh, west, west longitudes are minus, so it's minus 135 to 120. So that's our, that's our starting point, and you'd write that down somewhere on a piece of paper. And then this is what we need, this link. And this is what Google Earth is going to update uh, every time we push the button. We don't have to do anything. All right, so that's all we need off of there for now. So let me minimize that. We go to Google Earth. Then you go, first of all, be sure you go view. I, I'm on Google Earth. View and be sure the grid is showing. That makes life simpler. Turn on this grid here. That's not a, not a default setting, but you turn it on. Then you go up add uh, image overlay like that. And then uh, here's the link. That's the key part. We paste that, right? That's what we want. And then we'll give it a name. Uh, it's not very well lined up to begin with. Uh, let's see. The title is going to be, uh, let's say, Washington, Oregon, ASCAT uh, A. There's, there's actually two ASCAT, there's ASCAT A and B. Uh, that's for another discussion. They're essentially the same. A scat A B ascending A S C E N D I N D. So that's our label. Now to help life out here a bit, let's see location. So now is where we start. We're going to put the top of our picture at 51. Let's say 51 zero. It doesn't matter too much. And the bottom of our picture, we're going to put at 39 and zero say. And then on the east side, what do we have? 120 west. Uh, let's just do that. Zero. It, the, the tenths won't matter here. I better put that. Okay. And then on the west side, we were 135 and zero. Let's say zero. Okay. <clears throat> now, that thing is more or less in the right spot. I will know in a minute. Here's a, up here in the corner, this is a little end. you got to click that every once in a while. Be sure because as we're moving around here, we could easily get 
distorted. So hit that. We want in. It's going to be easier that way. Now we got to go back. It'll show up here. Here's the, here's the one on the left that we made. Right click it. Get info. Now, okay. Two things. As soon as we get info, there's handles on here, which lets us adjust it. Now we want to change the transparency so we can see what we're doing. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Okay, but let's get it. Uh, okay. So here's 47 and a half, 48 and a half. You see, this should be this should be 48. So click this in to get up. Click that in. Zoom in a little bit. Move it over. Click the end. Wish there were a way to lock that. Now drag that. Okay, see here. Here's 48. Here's 47, 49. These are the Google sc score. 48, 49, 47. Here's 48. But our image is 48 up here. So we bring that down a little bit. Grab that guy and bring it down. Now, this looks a little tedious, but keep in mind, you only have to do this once. Once you save it, it's there forever. Ten years from now, you click that button, you're going to have it all lined up. Furthermore, you can mail this to a friend. Because once, it's f once this is done, you've designed what they call a KMZ or KML file. It's got all this information locked in it. You could pass it on, save it, put it online, do whatever. Now here, what do we got? Here's 135. We're a little bit off here, so I've got to bring that over. So now you see that's 135. What's going on on the bottom here? Um, Here's 39, 41, here's 40. We've got to come down just a hair. Okay. So now we have 40, 40. That all looks good. Uh, now, what do we got over here? Here is, oh, here's, look, here's, a, here's 123. We're a little bit off on that. So we've got to pull that out. Now, you're also, you're free to look at the border of the land as well. That's a yellow. So we're all pretty good there. If you just look at the land, that's pretty good. So that's done. That's done. So now what do we do? Okay, you say okay. And then you go first and then before anything goes wrong, you right click that and say save place as and I'm going to put it in my ASCAT folder and that's what it's going to be called. Okay, save. Now what I want to do now, okay, here's the trick then. Okay, that's done. So that's the satellite data, and then um, that you could, you may want right click to get the controls, uh, and you can change, you know, see, you may want a little like more like that. Okay. See, so there you're seeing what the winds are like out there on the coast. Now, let's do this trick. Let's do right click, uh, right click. Um, Save place as, and now I'm just going to call it, now this is going to not be true for now, but I'm going to call it descending. Whoops, what happened there? Okay. Save place as, backspace, descending, D-E, descending, A scat A, descending. Okay. So, but that's not true. See, uh, okay. So, but now go back here, right click, get info, go up here and just change this A to a D and say okay. Bang. So there, oh, that's more interesting. That's the descending picture and that was valid. This, this, uh, these were the true measured winds. It's not somebody's theory or a model or something else. This is 18, 1758 on uh, August 5th. That's the latest pass. That's not uh, 1758, August 5th. Uh, August 5th. 1758. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong clock. Gosh, okay. Yeah, so 1758. I, I have two displays of time on my menu bar here, and I was looking at local time, not UTC. So 1758, that was about five hours ago. All right, but that's the latest data. So we're done. That's what the process is, and uh, I'll put in the, in the um, oh, okay, so what do you do then? Well, these are saved now. And so uh, you can just go in here anytime and click this. And when you come back, whoops, okay, wait, just 
Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's Baja. I made one for Baja, too. But that's not what we're looking at. Uh, so here is, where was that? Oregon and Washington. You just turn that on and go there and you see it. So that's the process. And when you come back tomorrow or two hours, four hours from now, it'll be the latest pass. And I'm going to stop there. In the description, I'll put a link to an article where there's more notes and uh, uh, links to, uh, links to uh, where you get some more information.